Hi, Rich Pisano here from Digitally Fearless. And today I just thought we'd have a little bit of fun and I am going to show you how to make this man dance, which is, <laughs> there is absolutely no reason for it, but I just thought, you know, sometimes you just need a break from being serious about things. So let's get started. So I pulled this man from stock photos. It's by Jason Hogan and it was in Unsplash. I took away the background. I did a cutout because all we want is him. So I have him right up here on top. Let's close these out. We don't need them anymore. So I'm just going to make him dance and I could save each way I'm doing it. But and maybe you can use this for some kind of a crazy animation. It's nothing like the puppet walk, which I wish we had an affinity photo because Photoshop, that's one of the things I miss a lot is puppet walk. Uh, the two things I miss is puppet walk and tracing a bitmap. But those are the two on my wish list that I'm hoping for in the future. But let's make him dance and it's very simple. So let's make sure we have him selected and we go to filter, distort, and shear. And this box comes up. And the way this box works there are nodes and you can add as many as you want, but let me just show you the simplicity of this part of it. If you grab the node here on the right and you lift up, he goes up on the right. And if you go down, he goes down on the right. If you grab this, it's the same on the left. And for some reason, the up and down, this side, this one here, the left and right, I mean, going this way, is opposite. If you grab the one on the bottom, the top moves. And if you grab the one on the top, the bottom moves. So you can kind of play with this by adding nodes. For example, maybe you just want this arm to go up. So here's his center. You can put a node in the center. And you can add maybe another node here. And then maybe bring this arm up. And you can only do it in little intervals like that. You see how you can move? But if you went up and down, you know, you can really kind of have some fun with it. And same here, if I wanted to do this and I want his arm down, which is a little awkward, but, and I tend to stay on the edges because if I move in, weird things happen like that. So it becomes like Elastic Man or something. <laughs> but uh, that's one part. And if you grab the middle here and you go something like this, he can kind of like play around, <laughs> he can, you can make him dance, but you don't have to. For example, you can bring this part up, I should say the other way around, you could bring this part up and go straight and leave his legs bending like this. And you can add more to his legs, or not, his legs are up here now. That's, that's the part that throws me off, he's opposite here. But you can kind of do weird things with his legs here. But if you do things kind of gradually, you can kind of look at it. He could shake his butt, shake your booty. <laughs> I'm showing my age. Sorry about that. <laughs> and I don't know, maybe we can pull it. I have, I'm just playing here. Maybe we can pull his head down a little. There's his head. So I don't know exactly what we can do. And there, you know what? There's no real uses except for playing. And I thought I'd just have some fun here. I'm adding a whole bunch of nodes. I don't know. Maybe this side has to could go down. And if I could bring some of these down, I can kind of get him close to where I need him to be. I have no idea. But <laughs> this is a really quick tutorial. And you will probably have get nothing out of this except maybe have some fun. Or maybe if any of you can think of ways that you would like to use this, hey, just... Post, it, post me a note on YouTube, on my YouTube channel, because I always answer all those notes. Every time someone comments on something on YouTube, I do answer them, and I really do appreciate your comments. So this was crazy. Uh, I apologize, <laughs> but I'm having fun. I can't even stop right now. Look at me. I'm just, I don't even know how many things. I wonder, I wish I could add another line. If anyone knows how to do that, I don't know exactly what I'm doing here with this. But I thought it would just be a little bit of fun. So if you found this, I won't say useful, but if you found this tutorial a lot of fun, then please click like and subscribe and have a great day. Bye.